started out one for nine and then had a pretty hot fourth quarter to kind of close it out. Just what, what changed for you in that fourth? Staying aggressive. Yeah, I felt like uh, some shots that I shot through the first two qu three quarters were good ones. Could have got some better ones, better looks. I settled a little bit. I didn't really attack the rim as often as I would have liked. Um, but I'm just finding my place, you know, where I can attack throughout the game. Not really panicking about getting my points or getting my stats, just trying to play the game the right way. The stats come by the way I prepare and how hard I work out there. So uh, just trying to be rewarded playing the game the right way. And just early on this win streak, it was kind of like Groundhog Day where you guys would most games. It's a Groundhog Day? The movie? Okay. Um, just repetitive where <laughs> you guys would have a hot start and, uh, you know, lead would go away a bit in the second and third oh, okay. quarter, then down to the wire. Now, it seems like these past few times, um, I'm ignoring them. These past few times, you know, when, when a team has punched back, you guys have been right there to, to uh, respond to it and, and not let that okay. creep up on you everything. Yeah, just, what do you think has changed in that aspect? Okay. My bad. I, I've never, you say Groundhog Day, the movie? Yeah. I've never seen it. Yeah. I've never seen it yet. That's, how old are we? How old are you? Oh, I'm 30, okay, so, yeah, we're the same generation, right? Freak. I don't, I don't have a seen Groundhog Day. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll watch it this holidays. Yeah, I mean, I'll watch it on Netflix, man. Um, but, yeah, when the, when the league was going back and forth, uh, I think the key for us is staying poised. And throughout this winning streak or throughout this uh, time that we've been putting some good games together, um, I think we just, we've established a, an identity where defensively we know we can ramp it up at times when we're giving up some easy baskets and we make some adjustments. So uh, I think we just stay consistent, stay disciplined in our effort. And Jock does a great job of calling these timeouts and holding us all accountable, which helps us out. So I'm grateful for that. Kyrie, 45 to 45 rebounding against the Bucks, we're a team known to kind of dominate on the boards. Jock said that not too long ago, he showed everybody their individual box out percentage. Uh, First, do you remember what yours was? And yeah, second. I was second to last on the, on the box out <laughs> list. So <laughs> if you want to talk about holding people accountable, boxing out is definitely something that I have to uh, work on and I have to get my percentage up in terms of the league average. So, yeah. What, what's that feeling when he shows you your percentage and you're second to last and you kind of work to work that up? I think the initial reaction is, you know, who's making these stats? Just calling cap on the stats. <laughs> you know, that was my initial reaction, but then uh, getting to the serious stuff, um, when, they're able, when I'm able to hold myself accountable, Jock's able to hold me accountable, my teammates are able to hold me accountable, um, then it, it makes it easier to, for us to hold each other accountable when we're not doing the little things. You know, the, these are things that we have to do every night to win. So boxing out is definitely something that I have to do in order for us to be successful as a team. So it, it was fun at first, but then we got serious after we left out of there. Got yeah, one more. I mean, obviously the Bucks are a team where even if Middleton is out, they've had that same core together for about five years. They know how to play when guys are out. You guys haven't had that luxury for the past however many seasons. You guys have had guys in and out of the rotation even this season. Just what does it say about the chemistry and cohesion that you guys are building to be able to beat that team so handily given that they have that chemistry and cohesion for years? Uh, I think we're just putting together a consistent game plan right now. Guys are uh, filling their roles at a high level. Uh, no matter who's in the lineup, this is our group, so we're just rocking. Um, you know, having fun, playing a great brand of basketball, doing the little things, and it's resulting in some wins. Um, and we just want to keep it up. We don't want to take our foot off the gas pedal. We know it's a long season, but this is a great pace we're at right now, and uh, we feel good. Kyrie, to that point, you guys are rolling in such a way the last couple of weeks, but you haven't been beating the top-level teams. Does this win mean a little more to the room because of who you beat, and what they did in the past? No, nah, I think the object of the game is to win. So as long as we put in some wins together, whether it's the top teams or, I don't know, the other teams that uh, are fighting for a position in the standings, we just want to win. That's the object of the game. Cardi, you guys have been a smaller team, you know, in recent seasons. And this year, you know, you guys have that added size with Ben, Royce, TJ, Utah. Like, does that, for you, you know, when you're out there, does having that added length and athleticism, does that just make the feel of the game different for you? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, I can't necessarily guard everybody on the court in terms of the perimeter. So when KD can guard Drew, uh, you know, I can guard Javon Carter and, uh, you know, Royce can guard Giannis or Ben can guard Giannis. I think our lineup is so interchangeable that it, it, it's a positive for us. It's a strength of ours. And then you have two of the top guys guarding isos and nick and kd i mean it makes a huge difference out there you know they're leading the league in guarding isos so 
you know, anytime people are going at them, we know that we had a great chance to make them miss. And when you can make professionals miss at a high level, then, you know, pretty much we're getting out on the offensive end and uh, putting together some quality possessions. I feel like we still leave a lot of points, you know, out there, just miscues, turnovers. Um, we can't play perfect, but uh, we're definitely striving for greatness in, in the aspect of uh, just getting better over the course of the 82 game season, preparing for something bigger. Yeah, Kyrie, Kevin's putting up a bunch of career highs and field goal percentage from mid-range pull-ups. Um, is this the best you've seen him as a shooter, uh, at least that you've played with him or even just in his career? Uh, man, I, I'm thinking of all the superlatives I could keep throwing at what uh, you know, Kay's doing right now. Uh, but again, I, I just want us to all play well around him. You know, When someone's playing at a special level like that, we don't want him to feel alone. So when he's shooting the ball like that and doing it so effortlessly and doing it at a consistent level, shooting a high percentage, I think he's shooting the, the top uh, true shooting percentage right now. So uh, I just want him to keep it up and keep working hard, keep preparing. Um, and he's one of our leaders. And when he's playing well um, and we're all playing well and clicking, I mean, we're a tough team, tough team to beat.